Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to take these out. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I am doing this wonderful, beautiful, amazing, okay, I don't know if it's beautiful and amazing, but to me it is, um, vampire look. I am actually surprised with the way it came out. Um, I was, I knew I wanted to do a vampire look. I actually did get inspiration from Layla Rose and uh, Christine Dominique on YouTube. Um, I will leave their videos down below. I did watch their videos and they gave me pretty much all my inspiration. I love their videos. Um, but yeah, I pretty much came up with this look. Um, I like the way the eyes turned out. I did add falsies because it needed to be a sexy glam look. Um, but yeah, um, to, oh, I also added my bite marks and I had my teeth, but I had to take them out because I couldn't talk. But yeah, um, to see how to recreate this look, just keep on watching. <laughs> I hate you when you do that. Why are you all this shit right here? Because I forgot to move it. I brought you a salad. Oh, you think of me. No, bitch, you were just sitting there and I didn't want it. <laughs> bitch, that of me. <laughs> To take this brownish red to put inside my crease and basically just smoke that out everywhere I, I'm gonna put it basically everywhere it doesn't have to be me Now I'm taking this bright red color and also putting that in my crease just to add just a little bit more red because it was looking more brownish red and I wanted it to be more red. So I just grabbed that color and blended it into my crease with the other colors. Then I'm going to take this orangey red and put it in my crease and blend it in with the other colors just so I can have more red. Pretty much, I'm just taking all these red colors and blending in so I can have a bunch, like, a bunch of different shades of red. So, I'm going to take my black eyeliner. I don't know what the name of it is called, but of course, I'll leave everything down in the description box. I'm going to take it and put it all over my lid until I reach uh, the, like, my crease. I guess you can say or the bottom of my crease, I don't know, just to reach the crease. And then after that, I'm going to take a black sh um, eyeshadow from my Morphe palette. And of course, I'll leave that down below because I don't remember what palette it was. And I'm just going to blend out that black eyeshadow. Just make sure you blend, blend, blend. Then I'm just going to repeat the steps on this side, taking the black eyeliner and smudging it out and blending it with the black shadow.
I'm then going to take this bright red and basically just blend all those colors together. I know it's like not a light color to where I should blend them, but it worked good. I did my eyebrows and my face off camera. I basically uh, just went a shade lighter in my foundation and I made my eyebrows a lot darker. But I'm taking that gray shade and I'm going to contour with it. I'm going to contour at my cheeks, on my nose, my temples, everything just to make me look more dead. It made me look more structured and give me that appearance. So that's basically what I'm going to need to do with that shade and that small blending brush. Right here I'm taking the black eyeshadow and just smudging it all out and taking it pretty low. Then I'm going to take that brownish red again and I'm just going to blend out that black eyeliner and smudge it out even lower and more so that it looks blended. With that same color, I'm actually going to drag it even lower so that I can give it the appearance that I'm hollow and dead and just, it's like reddish, like my skin's red and everything, just to give the appearance that I'm like dead, I guess you can say. But I dragged that out all the way to the tail of my um, eyebrow and then I'm just going to take it pretty low. I'm also going to take that brownish reddish eyeshadow and put it right where my mouth is at just so when I apply the blood it looks more uh, pigmented so I did that on both sides of my mouth. I took this grayish brown shadow with my uh, eyebrow brush and I'm just going to basically draw like veins um, on the bottom of my eyes where I had put that red. Um, just because I had watched Christine Dominique's video and that's what she did and it actually looked very nice and basically just to give it the appearance of like my veins and it's bloody and I don't know you don't have to do it I did it I thought it looked cool so yeah you do what you want I'm now going to take my Lash Paradise Mascara and coat my top and bottom lashes with mascara. And then I'm also going to apply falsies.
with the scab blood that i bought from the spirit store that i also used in my last video i'm going to put it on the side of my mouth on my neck on my face just everywhere just to put blood everywhere Then I'm going to take that FX blood that I also used in my last video with that black sponge and I'm just going to dab that everywhere just to make it look like a splatter effect on my face. So like if I bit into somebody I like have their blood splattered all over me. I'm then going to take that brownish gray shade and make little circles as for the teeth marks and just make sure that it's real dark. Then I took a reddish shade and applied that on top of the gray shade. Then I'm going to apply black. I just applied all these shades just to make it more deeper and not like I guess you can say realistic and then I'm going to take the scab blood and just put it on top of those bite marks and as if like there's blood dripping down from my neck. I just took my black eyeliner and I f like filled in my lips and outlined my lips with that. And then I'm going to take a red Avon lip liner and put that on top of the black and fill in my lips with that color just so it can be a reddish black color instead of just red or just black. I just want it to be a really deep color. Then I'm going to take this dark red color by Urban Decay and Ruby Rose. I'll leave, I think it's called Bad Blood. I'll leave the name down below, but I just applied that on top of the eyeliner and the lip liner. Well guys, this is the finished look. One second. I don't know why I tried talking to those. Uh, this is the finished look. I'm impressed how it came out. Um, of course, y'all don't have to do all this. Y'all don't have to add this and the, this much blood and the teeth marks and the fangs and the blood on the hand. Like, you don't have to add We'll have a, another Halloween video up next Friday, and I'm super excited for this one. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so y'all can see my video next week. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Happy Halloween.